So in today's video we are going to learn about the 3D layers and with the help of that we will create one simple cube animation. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, we will create one new composition as always and we will name it as main animation width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration I will choose 15 seconds and background color is white and simply hit ok, choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action. Then I will select this rectangle tool and with the help of shift I will create one rectangle like that select this shape layer press ctrl alt home which is a shortcut key to align that anchor point to the center then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now as you can see we are getting these options over here with the help of f4 you can simply switch between these options now over here as you can see we have this 3d layers options so to understand that let's see in certain way like suppose i am going to select this layer and i'll press r which is for rotation and if I rotate it as you can see it's rotating in two dimensional space now if I enable this option as you can see we are getting this three axis rotations x y and z so we can rotate it on any axis like that now we will enable these options the first thing we will do I'll select this layer and I'll hit enter to rename this I'll name it as middle and hit ok then I'll hit Ctrl D to duplicate that. I'll make this fit. I'll press Y to select my pen behind tool and with the help of Ctrl Hold, I'll move this thing over here. And then I'll move this thing over here. Zoom in a little bit. And with the Ctrl Hold, we can snap it on the edge of this one. I'll select this layer. I'll hit Enter and I'll call it as let's say left hit ok then hit ctrl d i'll press y to select my pen behind tool and with the help of ctrl hold i'll snap this anchor point at the edge of it then press v to select our selection tool and with the help of shift i'll grab it over here hold ctrl and simply snap it on the edge of it like that i'll select this Select this layer, hit enter and I'll type over here is right and hit ok. Now select this middle one, I'll hit ctrl D. I'll drag it at the top, hold ctrl and you can simply snap it over here. Like that, press Y to select our pen behind tool and with the help of ctrl hold, I'll drag this over here so it will help us to snap this at the edge. I'll select this layer and I'll hit enter to rename it and I'll call it as top and hit ok. Select this middle one, hit Ctrl D, press V to selection tool. With the help of Ctrl, I'll drag it down so it will help me to snap it. Then Y to choose our pen behind tool. With the help of Ctrl, I'll move this anchor point over here. Select this layer, hit enter, and I'll call it as down and hit OK. Now I'll select this right one, press V to selection tool, and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. With the help of Ctrl Hold, I'll simply move this thing over here like that now all we need to do we need to change the color of each and every one so you are free to choose any color you want right now i'm going to choose some random colors like that So uh, we will choose these colors. Now we are going to use one concept which is called parenting. Now what I'll do, as you can see this is my right and this is my right two. So I'll select this right two and I'll make it a parent with this right one. So now whenever I'm gonna move this right anywhere, it will move with that, it controls it too. Now select all the layers and make it a parent with this middle one like that. So this is our main layer and all our parent with this main which is our middle. Now I'll select all of them and then I'll convert those things into 3D and now I'll press R for rotation. 
now i'll select this one on let's say on y axis we have to rotate it on plus 90 degree but as you can see we cannot see from here so for that what we'll do in this active camera we will choose custom view one so we will get this parallel view now i'll select this one which is our top and on sorry i'll select this one and on x axis we have to rotate it on minus 90 degree then this one which is at the down we have to rotate it on plus 90 then we have this one we have to rotate it on y axis let's say minus 90 and then this is our remaining one and we have to rotate it also minus 90 on y axis now as you can see our cube is ready now i'll choose my active camera hit u to deselect all of them now go to the top view so this is our top view i'll select this middle one and i'll simply drag it over here and then what we will do we will right click we will create one new and then we will create one null object and we will convert this null object into 3d hit enter and call this null object as controller and now this middle one should be parent with this controller like that and now we will choose active camera now i'll select this controller i'll press r for rotation and if i rotate it as you can see we'll get this rotating cube animation now i'll create one keyframe on this x-axis and let's see around four seconds we will create one one and one now if i hit play as you can see we will get this rotating animation like that now we can simply alt click on it and we can type loop out expression on it we will talk about this expressions in our ne next lecture but right now all you need to do is simply alt click on the stopwatch after you apply your keyframes and type loop out expression which is over here and hit enter hit ctrl a to select this expression then hit ctrl c then alt click on the stopwatch hit ctrl v alt click on the stopwatch and hit ctrl v like that so we will get this looping animation for all of it like that now i'll select all of them and then press ctrl shift c to pre comp it and hit ok so as you can see we are getting this cube animation press s for scaling option and scale it like that i'll scale it down a little bit hit ctrl k to open our project settings and we will decrease the height if you want let's say height is 0 0.080 and hit ctrl k again to open our project settings and we will decrease the width of this composition like that hit ok and let's play as you can see we are getting something like that now we will create another composition but before that we will hit ctrl k again and in the new composition name we will call this composition as q and hit ok then i'll create another composition and we will call this composition as main animation and width i'm gonna choose 1920 and then i'll hit ok and we will simply drag this cube composition over here then press s for scaling option and scale it down go to this cube hit ctrl k again and i think we need to decrease the width a little bit again like that Yep, this looks good to me now we'll go to the main animation comp and we'll go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply cc repertile effect and simply double click on it so after applying this effect as you can see we will get this expand options at light left down up all you need to do simply type over here let's say 1500 or maybe even more than that select this value hit ctrl c over here hit ctrl v also over here hit ctrl v or let's say 3368 and 3368 now if i hit play we will get this cubicle animation over here and now in repeat if i choose this brick we will get this alternatives options over here and in this effect you can play around with this so you will get some different results so i would recommend that 
and just print Ctrl Y on keyboard to create one solid layer and drag it at the bottom and let's say around 4 seconds I'll hit N to adjust the composition I mean timeline of this so if I hit play it will take a little bit time to load but you will get this kind of looping animation when you hit N on 4 second because our animation for this controller if I hit Q over here as you can see we have one complete rotation on 1 second so after that it will loop and in our main animation I'll hit N on 4 second to trim my what we call is timeline over here or let's say time ruler or time work area so we will get this continuous looping animation so in this lecture we have learned about the 3d layers we have created one successfully cube animation and we have used expressions we have used the cc repetile effect and with the help of all this knowledge we have beautifully created one background animation which is in the form of loop so that's it for the today's lecture if you want to watch some in-depth tutorials about this i would recommend this two tutorials so go check it out